Welcome to Alibaba Cloud the Digital Beats. My name is Rosa Wang. I am the Global Alliance Manager of Alibaba Cloud. In today's episode, I will play the moderator role. We have some very interesting topics today. First of all, let me introduce you to a very special guest with us today, Marty Wesley from Red Hat. Marty is the Director of Portfolio Product Marketing of Red Hat. Marty, glad to have you here. Glad to be here. We also have a Chuan He with us. Chuan is the Staff Product Manager of Alibaba Cloud. Chuan has been working with Red Hat for quite a while. Chuan, thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me here. Digital transformation is on the top of almost every executive's list these days. If digital transformation is fundamental for business to survive and critical to thriving in today's competitive market, so they cannot fail, afford to fail. My first question to you, Marty, what are some of the landmines in successful transformation? Yeah, so I've seen a number of customers and uh, partners uh, undergo digital transformation, and they look at it maybe as just a technological change. Uh, they think that bringing in uh, new software or applications or other uh, technology will ultimately give them the results they need. And what they miss is that digital transformation is really about a more holistic change involving not just your technology, but also the processes that you use uh, and the people in your organization that are executing those processes and, and fundamentally delivering that technology. So uh, I would say that looking at digital transformation just as a technological uh, transformation uh, is probably one of the biggest landmines I've seen and, and has halted a lot number of organizations' uh, successful transformation efforts. Great insight. I agree with you. So not just about the technology. So Chuan, what's your point of view on this? Yeah, actually, I totally agree with Marty just said, and everyone is talking about digital transformation since years, but I, I think we still have to return to the original question. Why do we need digital transformation? It must be triggered by a business goal. Ideally, it should not be triggered by a research Find the goal, maybe this is a point one. And the point two is that uh, digital transformation should be a company level strategy driven by the top management. I sh it should not only uh, be a project. If the company's organization structure is not ready, as Marty just said, the transformation can't be accomplished as expected. So digital transformation is not only done by IT system, it's done by people. Improving the transparency, the collaboration to speed up the organization. And maybe the third point is that in most of the cases I, I have learned and in my experience, digital transformation is unlikely to be successful in one shot. So no matter how thoughtful we are and how much we invest, we may need to accept several times of failures before achieving the goal. So not to, not to be, not be over optimistic and define reasonable milestones could be a good practice. Great, thank you, Chuan. So Chuan, from your knowledge and experience working with Alibaba, so how successful are enterprises driving this digital transformation? Uh, actually, I would say it's really case by case. Some companies are doing great and some one don't. There may be some fundamental point as what I just mentioned in your previous question. And we can simply attribute a successful transformation to this or that reason. Uh, however, Companies that are technologically sensitive embrace change who are willing to try and keep in investing on high tech may have a greater chance. 
We do have some good examples in e-commerce and other industries. As Alibaba Cloud is providing the cloud computer service to millions of customers, and we actually see, see the differences among companies. And what we can do is to learn from the success ones and as well as the failed ones. So if you or your company is doing business with your cloud provider, maybe you can ask your cloud provider and your cloud architect to give you more input. And from my point of view, there may be some small tips we, I can give. The first one is sometime, sometimes doing is more important than thinking. Running small steps and iterate quickly. Building an agile organization is more important than a perfect execution plan because there is no plan is perfect. And the second point is running your business on cloud. The products and the technologies on the cloud are not necessarily the best, but they can be easily implemented and with no cost. And you have a greater chance to find the most suitable ones for your business. Flexibility is the biggest advantage of the cloud. Take the advantage to serve your business goals. And thirdly, maybe I can say determination is important. And there is a huge difference between someone who is actively taking a change or passively accepting a change. Actively seeking a change means we have more time to try and more room to fail. Yeah, this is my answer to your question. Yes, thank you. So according to Harvard Business Review, more than 80% of digital transformations fail. So how does the enterprise manage the transformation differently? Um, Martin, you mentioned about in addition to technologies, there are about processes and trying to touch upon on the business um, objective as well. So Martin, can you share your uh, perspective on this? Yeah, that Harvard Business Review uh, study uh, looked at companies around the world and asked them about their digital transformation efforts. And you're exactly right. Only about 20% of them, a relatively small percentage, uh, said that their transformation efforts were successful. Uh, so then we actually delved into the data a little bit to try and figure out what sets those companies apart? What makes them different? Why did they see success when the other companies didn't? And what we actually found was that those companies that reported successful transformations had higher levels of collaboration, higher, le higher levels of adaptability. They had a more transparent and inclusive culture. Uh, and what that meant is it kind of echoes what Sean was saying in his uh, uh, explanation, uh, that they looked at it more holistically, uh, that they were adaptable that they could move quickly, make changes and adapt as they saw success or failure. And then finally, it wasn't just a project. Uh, they included people from all over the organization. They brought them together and they collaborated. And ultimately you can see the importance of the people and process changes because you can imagine that in the successful and the unsuccessful companies, they were looking at implementing a lot of the same technologies. So it really comes down to the difference in success and failure was these elements of the culture and people that really made the difference. Yeah, very interesting insight. So Chuan, um, the IT landscape and the mindset in China market is quite different than the others like the US and Europe. You already explained like what make a digital transformation successful, what we need to watch out. I just want to see your point of view about uh, just in general in China for specific, like what set the leader apart? Yeah, actually, uh, Marty just gave a perfect answer to the question. And based on my experience and my, and my understanding, um, I, I actually have no extra comment to add, but uh, I would say 
digital transformation is a big concept. And no matter is uh, is uh, Western in Western context or in China context, we are given more and more explanation to it. Actually, I'm thinking why digital transformation is still a hot topic after years, and it's not outmoded like other buzzwords. So actually, the the market is changing rapidly, and the technologies are developing all the time. And in China especially, actually we see that the technology is changing very, very fast. We can't predict what will happen next. People become very anxious because a company which reacts faster can survive and win from the competition. And no one wants to lose the competition. Actually, after all, I think uh, for the leaders, is a kind of mindset. A leader needs to be open-minded, keep learning, adjust the target, shape the organization, and find their path to reach the target. And for a company, it's a way of working, a way of collaboration, and finally create more value for customers. As the world's leading provider of open source, IP solution. How does Red Hat help the businesses in the successful digital transformation journey? Yeah, so one of the first things that we do is uh, related to the core of our portfolio that we deliver, that enterprise open source uh, that you mentioned. Uh, if you look at the IT landscape today, uh, the vast majority of innovation is happening in and around open source technology. And so Red Hat is, gives enterprise customers the ability to tap into that innovation, bring it into their organization and utilize it uh, for their digital transformation. In addition, we provide the services and the partners uh, like Alibaba Cloud uh, that allows customers to rapidly adopt, test, trial, improve and adapt those technologies to their specific business needs. And then finally, we also help our customers understand the change that needs to happen within their organization, within their people. We do this through training, through consulting, and through our, our, our mentorship uh, that we provide through our services organization. So through all of that, we have a holistic way of helping customers uh, succeed in their digital transformation efforts. Thank you, Marty. Yes, Alibaba Cloud and Red Hat has been partners since 2017. It's quite an exciting journey. So Chuan, can you tell us what kind of Red Hat products are available on Alibaba Cloud as of today and what's coming next? Yeah, today Alibaba Cloud provides Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Red Hat Enterprise Linux for SAP in our marketplace including all the minor releases of Real 7 and Real 8. We keep up publishing Real and provide to our customer with latest version of the images. Of course, the launch of Red Hat products on Alibaba Cloud is based on our customer needs. And as you know, we have more Chinese customers ex extending their business abroad and more and more MNC customers developing their business in China. So we will continue to increase the types and the versions of our products available on Alibaba Cloud based on customer needs. And this is actually what we are doing. So now let's wrap up the last question for both of you. So what do you see in the future for Red Hat and Alibaba Cloud working together? Chuan, do you like address this first? Yeah, mm, I, I like to answer this question first because Red Hat is definitely a great partner and of course a, an important one as well. And this is why and the reason we are here today having this talk. Our cooperation is on both the product level and the marketing level. We have done a lot of technical cooperation together and sponsored conference and marketing events with each other. We have very close cooperation. It's because we have 
many joint customers and we need to serve our customers together. With the growing of Alibaba Cloud's business, this trend will continue. And I expect that Red Hat and Alibaba Cloud will have a closer cooperation going forward. And you may find more Red Hat products available on Alibaba Cloud in the near future. Thank you, Chuan. Marty, would you like to share your point of view on this as well? Yeah, I believe the partnership with Alibaba Cloud has been outstanding uh, and uh, we've been able to help a number of joint customers uh, with Red Hat and Alibaba Cloud products. And I think the next step for our partnership is to see uh, more uh, Red Hat uh, product portfolio uh, available on Alibaba Cloud. And that's just going to give uh, our joint customers uh, more benefits that come from being able to implement enterprise open source on a reliable, scalable, uh, and outstanding uh, cloud infrastructure that Alibaba provides. Yes, we are also looking forward to working with Red Hat very closely to create a more joint success. Thank you, Chuan and Marty for your time and insight. It has been a great discussion. I also want to thank all the audience with us today. Thank you.